Hi guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make quick and easy marshmallow fondant. We're going to use some marshmallows, some powdered sugar, and water. That's it guys. We're going to use a spatula, some measuring cups, and a bowl. So let's get started. So into our measuring cup is going to go two cups of the mini marshmallows and then those are going to go into the bowl and then we're going to add about two tablespoons of water and then the whole thing is going to go into the microwave for about 40 seconds. Okay, now that they're out of the microwave for 40 seconds, we're going to use our spatula and stir it up. And you'll see that it's got really gooey. So you're going to stir it um, for about a minute or so to try to get as many lumps as you can out. But I'm actually going to put it back into the microwave for like another 10 or 15 seconds. So this is how it looks once this came back out of the microwave for the, I put it in for another 10 um, seconds. And so we're just going to stir. And so now that it's gotten smooth, we're actually going to add our powdered sugar. And so we're going to add four cups of powdered sugar into this, but we're going to add it a little bit at a time. Okay, now that we got it all in the mixer, we're going to use our paddle attachment and we're actually going to beat it on medium speed. This mix gets very, very thick and um, so you will see your mixer um, starting to like jump a little bit because it gets very, very thick. So I only let it go for maybe like a minute or so and then I actually scrape it down and then I knead it the rest of the way. So I just sprinkled a little bit of powdered sugar down on my mat. And like I said, I'm going to knead it. Okay, so these are the tips I want to give you. If your fondant is too sticky, you can add more powdered sugar. If your fondant is seeming like it's too dry or like cracking to you, you're also going to see me add 
shortening, vegetable shortening, regular, just plain vegetable shortening. And then that's going to help it to be um, a little bit more pliable. So right now, while I'm incorporating it, I'm trying to get as much as the powdered sugar in to get it incorporated. But then once I start to work with it, I'm going to actually coat it in vegetable shortening to make it more pliable to work with. But basically, this is it, guys. Like this is the fondant. You see me coating it in the vegetable shortening to make it easier to work with but this is it you're just gonna need it make sure it's nice and incorporated any extra sugar try to get it in there if not you see i just scooted the rest of the sugar to the side but this is what we turned out with guys very very easy to make marshmallow fondant So now I'm going to show you guys quickly how you can easily color this marshmallow fondant. So we're going to dye a piece of it like a mint green. So we're just using a regular green gel food coloring. And one thing about gel coloring is that you can add it a little at a time to get the color that you want. You can always add more color, but you can't take the color out if you put too much. So if you actually put too much, you can add a little bit of white back to it to kind of get it a lighter shade. And if you wanted to dye this entire batch um, one color, at the stage when it came out of the, or when it went into the microwave, you could have put the food coloring in there at that point to color the entire batch. But for me, I like to control the color. So I added a little bit at a time with a toothpick, as you can see, so I can get the exact shade. Like I said, we're going for like a light mint green. And so that's um, what you see me here. I'm just working the color in until I get the color that I actually want. So this is the color we were trying to achieve, a nice mint green. Now I'm just going to show you guys how easy it is to roll this fondant out as well. We still have a little bit of powdered sugar on the board from us um, kneading it. It's very easy to roll out. And I wanted you guys to see how easy it is to use cutters um, if you are making toppers or decorations or anything like that. How easy it is to work with. And you see we have a star. And then we have, um, this is the circle with the scalloped edge that I would use to do my cupcake toppers. But any extra fondant, you'll just coat it with a little bit of shortening and you'll put it in cling wrap and it can actually stay in your cabinet. I put mine in like a plastic Tupperware and it will last for two months, guys. So this is what we turned out with. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and most of all, subscribe to my channel. Bye. Sweet life, sweet life, sweet, 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 sweet.